Mestre Imortal. Weight Division Bell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So these fighters are just a year apart with... All right, Griffin rules are locked on. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Changes his stance. We'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Got the single collar tie. Lands a big right hand early. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, and there is another knee landed. You have to ask the question at this point, how many more can his opponent take before he crumbles down to the canvas? Beautiful execution on that strike there. Massive head kick. He got him. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Can't take many of those. You better check. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Punches blocked. That is how you scramble, folks. Head kick. Some nice back and forth action here. isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch the MMA fall. Watch guys now fight behind the jab. Left hand punches the clinch. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, man. You to check these kicks or you're going to be limping around the octagon here. So yeah, he's going really bad. now just misses. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, 
really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. And he continues to work the body here. Back and forth we go! That knee might have landed there. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. And they separate. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coach. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many okay, more like two, that. Ready? You ready? Oh, All right, round two. That is a thudding leg kick. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, oh, big oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, that knee. big that knee. knee hurt him. Wow. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh! He's stuck looking for the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He is getting lit up right now, John. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. A single collar tie here. Switching stances here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of uh, knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right hand punch to the clinch. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head with the clinch. Just over three minutes now to go. A beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Cut them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Both fighters throwing heat now. Checks the leg kick. Spinning back fist is there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Good punch. How about that chin? Oh, 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 he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. 
That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Beautiful leg kick there. Takedown defense holds up. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Single collar tie now. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big kick land. He just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Boy, Ty Plum. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain power and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. Ready. Ready. Let's go fight. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice leg kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't need too many more of those. Cannot. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. And they separate. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Back to the jab now, no good. His leg is hurt here, you a little bit. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. That one snuck in. Nice strike. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Get right here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his head a little bit. Tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. 
How good is that right hand? All right, he gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the grounded pound will be a plenty for this position. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, that's going to do it in a quick tap from there as yeah, he takes it done it. by the submission. The he got the arm straight, he got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 37 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out, 